Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel here and today's video is uh, going to be a little bit different from any of my other videos on the channel because I know that there has been a lot of talk about on this topic already uh, but here is my takes and you know opinion about it and you probably already know what it is by reading the title and this the but crisis that this game is in at the moment. The reason why I'm doing this is just because I have started four months ago by posting these videos on YouTube. Um, and just, you know, the first thing I want to say is that it's pretty hard to, you know, do these kind of videos. And there is a but in it yet every second server that I play on. And also, it's kind of annoying, you know, I have everything set up for recording my recording program, my voiceover, stuff like that. Then when I see a stupid ass bot just shooting me right after, because I make these spy videos as I do right now, I'm just speaking while playing. Um, but this is also my unfiltered opinion about it. See, I don't understand why Valve doesn't decide to do anything about it. They are making millions of dollars on TF2 each year. I don't know how much they make, you know, exactly. But I do know that they make a ton of money. So I do think it's kind of sad that this is happening to this game. Because this has been happening for like over, I would say, for a month. Like, no, not what am I talking about. This has been happening for over two or three years now. I think it's even more than that. I'm not pretty sure... When, it, when the bot started to, you know, appear on these servers. And it was a mistake by Valve. And then I think it should be Valve who should fix it. Like, that's fair. And I think... And this is, you know... Also something that I've heard a lot of other, you know... Much bigger YouTubers than myself say. But the reason that Valve do not want to fix it... Like, they're already making so much money on the game. And they kind of don't care about it. Because he has... They have these other games like Counter-Strike and Dota 2 where they make also a lot more money. So they don't care about TF2 as much. And this is very sad, you know. And it, it's, it's also very expensive for them to, you know, pay these uh, developers or pay some uh, glitch f f fixers. Um... But I did actually see it, and the reason why I got this idea, you know, well, first of all, it's because I've seen a lot of videos on the topic already, but also because I saw a video, and I will link that down below. Uh, it was a guy who, who he uploaded, you know, I think it was four or five m months ago, where he said that he and his, and his team uh, started to uh, do something about it, you know, the anti-bots. He, they started to make some kind of programs if that makes sense um, and I think all of you should go in and watch that video and I will of course link it down below uh, so it's to your knowledge because it's a very good video you should definitely watch it because I do think it's nice that somebody cares about what's going on and I know there's a lot of you who really want to fix to this but Valve is just I don't know either too lazy or just too uh Okay, wait, gotta focus up here. I'm just leaving. Yeah, I think Valve is just way too lazy and they don't want to spend unnecessary money to fix a game that's always making them millions of dollars. And this is just, you know, very sad, in my opinion. Because I know how frustrating it must be for both, you know, uh, newer players because, like, if, if they see, you know, these bots, like, five games in a row, they're not very attracted to the game. So this game loses a lot of newer, potentially new players. Um, and that's also a way to kill the game. But as you can see now, on this game here in uh, Swift Water, uh, there is no bots. And this is, you know, very unusual. Like, this is a very rare sight, which I think is sad. I think if I join around 10 to 15 different games in a day in TF2... 
I think maybe half of them, or even more than half of them, will have at least one bot that needs to be kicked. And this has been happening so much now, so when these bots decide to uh, join a game, <clears throat> everyone is very quick <clears throat> to uh, join or to kick them, which is something I like a lot. Oh, that was my mistake there. It's also very sad because one of the more popular maps that I know Fat Magic really enjoys, you know, you guys don't know who Fat Magic is, like you're living under a rock. He's a very cool, down to earth sniper main who likes to make people rage quit. And I think most of his videos, and I'm pretty sure uh, he's playing on Harvest. And I think Harvest is one of the worst maps, you know, containing all these bots. Whenever I join, I don't know if this is just because I play on uh, Europe servers. I don't, don't know if this is just uh, because I'm playing in Europe servers, but... Oh, that was the same soldier who killed me twice now. God damn, man. What I was trying to say there before getting killed by that soldier was that... It's annoying, like... YouTubers, bigger YouTubers like Fat Magic, who really, you know, want to make these videos for his very large audience, where his favorite map is Harvest, and he can't play Harvest because they're, you know, filled with, filled with butts. That's just, you know, also very sad, man, and unnecessary. That shouldn't be the case at all. Valve should really, really do something about these butts, like now. They definitely have the money for it, as I've already mentioned. They make so much money on this game yearly. But I don't know why they just can't sit down and, you no, know, spend some time fixing this issue. They deserve that to the community. This game came out in 2007, like three years after I was born. So, it's very sad. But anyways, this was a pretty good start of the game here. 11 kills and 4 deaths. We won this game. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's go on to defense now and keep talking on this topic. And also, like, these bot prices that the game is facing right now, it's not even, like, the only stuff that is happening to the game right now. There was this glitch, and there has been this glitch going on for, I think, the last 3 or 4 years even. I've seen some of my viewers talk about this in my comments. Like, the item servers. Sometimes, the other item servers are, are just down in, like, all casual servers. Um, and I made a video on this as well. Why I think this is bad. And stuff like that. So, there's a lot of other things going on about this game. And that definitely also sucks for, like, the people who have spent thousands of dollars into this game. And there is a lot of players who have spent that much money in, in this game. Because TF2 trading is, you know, very popular. And I think Team Fortress 2, but I'm not sure on this, so don't hang me up for this. But I think TF2 was one of the first games where you could actually trade in-game virtual items. Um... Oh, that was pretty sick. I touched that uh, spy there. That was very nice. Yeah, but like CSGO, I can't actually remember, and it's kind of embarrassing because I have 2,500 hours on CSGO, but I can't remember when that, like, year when that game came out. One of you have to tell me down below because I can't rem remember that exactly. But it uh, definitely came out after TF2. And CSGO, you can also trade items. And CSGO is, you know, Valve's Golden Egg. If that makes sense. Valve has cares so much about what happens to CSGO. They even made CS2, you know. So I think that kind of, you know, is a good explanation for why they love that game so much. If I can get out from this soldier alive, be very nice. I can, pretty sick, pretty sick. And I know all of the stuff I'm saying right now is, you know, all of you guys probably already know this. But, like, I don't want to talk about it because, you know, I have played a fuck load of Team Fortress 2 and also Counter-Strike. I have almost 5,000 hours on TF2. And I have, like, 2,500 hours on CSGO. Um, 
I have a lot of hours on these first person shooter games. And I just think it's like unfair to the entire community. The Valve is doing nothing about like games like TF2 where they don't have a, you know, tall audience and stuff like that. That kind of hits me off. And, I've, and I'm also uh, taking this, which I'm going to talk about now. I've also seen this uh, by other YouTubers. I've not even seen the uh, post myself, but uh, uh, on Twitter, you know, I can't remember exactly when it was. Uh, T Team Fortress 2 actually posted on Twitter that saying that they want to do something about this and they want to help the game, you know, and fix the game um, uh, regarding these, you know, TF TF2 bots. And guess what? They haven't done a single thing about it. Like, I, I can pretty calmly say, say this, you know, confidently say this, I mean, that I think the TF2 bot crisis problem has actually been much worse. Or has actually grown into a bigger problem now than it usually used to be. Which which is like it it, it shouldn't really be like that. Um gotta get this spy here. Nice. But uh, let's uh, talk about something else. Look at this, you know, insane unusual that I bought here or traded for actually. And that's why I talked about trading, you know, earlier in this video. Because I have started to trade now a little bit, you know. I've always been very fascinated by, you know, the trading system in TF2 and I begin to do it again. And also just things that, you know, very fun and all that. So that's why. If I'm good at uh, unusual trading, no. Well, I'm, it's because my inventory is not, you know, worth a lot of money, so I can't really make a lot of big trades. But... Still enjoy to do it, you know, getting different items. I think that would also be even more fun for you guys seeing, you know, me with different spy loadouts and stuff like that. Shit. Oh, I still got 160 health from that. Nice. And I think, I don't know what my end goal will, will be with my, you know, unusual journey, but I will get a nice combo unusual hats. And I don't know what those hats should be because there are a lot of different to choose from. Get that heavy there. Pretty sick, pretty sick. And I know this is, you know, a very different video, guys. You just want to see me play and talk about what I do doing certain plays. Um, but I just want to also talk about this in one video, addressing the problem there is. All of you, my beloved subscribers and viewers, already have heard about this problem because you play the game too. So, let's get this heavy and soldier. I would say we've been playing very good in this game so far, even though I've been, you know, focusing on also talking about the issue here. It's very nice. So, yeah. And I think rest of this game here will just focus on winning and playing the game. As I think I have said most of what I wanted to say in this video already. So that's pretty nice. I think that's a spy? Yeah, it's a spy. No. Oh, that was very well played by that soldier there. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And I guess, like, right now, I could also, you know, show my gratitude towards all of you. Uh, thank you for, like, 2,000 subscribers already. I started this journey, you know, uh, five months ago. Uh, I think almost five months. Um, and it's crazy, like, the support I've been getting from you guys. And I'm really focusing on making better quality videos for you guys. You know, learning how to edit my videos better. Stuff like that. And, yeah. And I think my goal, if any one of you would be interested in hearing that, uh, would probably to hit, you know, 10,000 subscribers in 2024. So, at the end of this year, if I have 10,000 subscribers, I would be very happy. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> amazing all the support i've been getting i love all of you guys and that, that also uh, i almost forgot to say this i'm doing another giveaway guys if you didn't know uh, check my discord server oh hit. oh it would have been sick jumping down on the heavy there and landing on him pretty sick
But yeah, guys, uh, join my Discord server if you want to join the giveaway. Because I'll have it uh, posted in there. Um, and you can find the link to my Discord down in the video description. So make sure to go do that right now so you don't miss out on a pretty unusual. Well, I know there's a lot of entries already, but, but you could win, you know. So it's free of charge. You don't have to do anything except, you know, joining the... Oh. So yeah, you should definitely go do that. That's pretty sick. And also, I liked all of your answers in my last or my second last video, you know, regarding what your three favorite movies was. A lot of you guys also liked The Dark Knight and Interstellar, which are both very good movies. Those are some very good picks, guys, I would say. And this video took, you know, a very drastic turn. I wanted to talk about the bot crisis, but kind of finished that. Um, while playing here in the background and I hope you also guys like these type of videos where I just talk about you know not random stuff I would say because this is you know a very big problem within the game but just you know not stuff regarding my gameplay and if you want one of these more videos and I could talk about more of my personal life while speaking or while playing in the background it would also be pretty fun I guess There is these two direct hit soldiers that we gotta try to kill here now, I think. Oh, I think this uh, soldier here really wanna kill me. Holy moly. Yeah, he jumped down. Got six minutes left to cap here, and I think we can do it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get this medic and heavy. That was not very well played by me, I guess, but it's fine, it's fine. And guys, actually, while I'm recording this video here, um, I uploaded the CF2 Easy video like 20 minutes ago. Uh, so yeah, and I don't know uh, what your you know response and whatnot is going to be towards that, but make sure to comment on this video as well if you want to see more of those videos, because I don't plan on catching anything out for myself in those videos because I just want to win a lot of money on TF2 each and then just w give away it all to you guys um yeah that's you know the plan of doing that let's take this heavy here he I don't think he's gonna hear me at all I think we gotta get this engineer soon man he has a very annoying teleporter I will say it again teleporters engineers is most Strongest building. Okay, nice. He will maybe go to spawn now, and then I will sap all of this stuff. Oh, he's not gonna fall for it. Oh, man. That was... Oh, that was not very well played by me. I know that we are defending right now, but I have one, only one uh, mission left, and that is to destroy all of those engineers' buildings and stuff like that. And I can't because they already got destroyed, so you know what, that's fine. It's perfect, actually. Oh, okay, he just uh, uh, built another teleporter there. Try and get this heavy here. Nice. Let's get this sentry. Let's get this, all of this stuff here. Get out this medic. And also this sniper. Nice. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Nice. And our mission kind of worked, I guess. But like, wasn't completely my doing 100%. Because we had some help getting the engineers' buildings. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Oh man, I wanted to trigger that demo man. But he did just look like a pretty good demo man, so I don't know if we can do that.
Oh, we can maybe get a lot of kills here. Oh, I have an idea. Let's just wait for this pyro to go a little bit forward now. And then we will go jump from above. Oh, I guess I can also just do, you know... Put this soldier here. Nice. Oh my god, no. I'm gonna be wealthy. Alright, let's jump from above now. We are spawn capping that this moment, and they got two minutes left to cap, and without changing it, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I have to be completely honest with you, with you, with you guys. Get this. Get also this heavy here. Pretty sick. Nice kill. Nice kills. We're almost hitting the 10 kill streak. Then I want to show you guys this combo effect. If I can do that without dying, maybe. I want to show you guys now what this looks like. It's fine. We don't have to cap. I want to show you guys this sick here. With my kunai. That's best. No, he's going to snipe me. Did you see me? Look at this. I couldn't show you the exact because I was kind of scared. Get, get killed by the sniper here. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a good shot. I'll give him that. I guess these last couple of seconds we can just uh, I can just again show my gratitude towards all of you guys. Uh, thank you for joining me on this great journey. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll just say this a bit earlier now before the game ends here. So I don't have to stress about it later. Uh, if you enjoyed these videos, I know I just talked about an issue that a lot of other YouTubers already have talked about. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. I can't say anything else about that. No. Get away from this pyro here. That's for damn sure. Can we hold in these last couple of seconds? I think we can. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. GG's, guys. That's a nice video. Nice way to end this video about the butt crisis. These are the stats, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.